PDF files can contain a lot of information. When you're working with a large document with dozens or even hundreds of pages, you may need to locate content quickly. Sometimes the simple page navigation, thumbnails, and bookmarks don't get you where you need to be quickly or easily enough. Fortunately, Acrobat has additional ways of searching through the data in a document. I'm working with the file guide.pdf, and as you can see, this file has 12 pages. We may be looking for a specific section, and while we might recall some of the words used, we may not remember which section it was. Acrobat has a find command, very similar to what you've seen in word processing programs, and in fact, Acrobat has the common keyboard shortcut, Control F on Windows, or Command F on a Mac. Or you can choose Edit in the menu, and then click Find. And a small Find dialog appears in the upper right corner of the document. You can type in your search word, here we'll use the word crown, and press enter or return, and Acrobat will advance to the first occurrence of that word with the search term highlighted. Clicking the next and previous arrows move to the next occurrence or the previous occurrence of the search term, and as with most word processing software, the search wraps around at the end of the document and will continue from the beginning until it reaches the place where you originated the search. Notice that the word crown also matches the word crowned. We have the ability to restrict the search so that it matches only full words. Just click the small drop down arrow at the right of this dialog box and choose whole words only. Now when we search, the only matches are exact instances of the search word. If I click previous, it backs up right past where it was. We can also make this search case sensitive if that's our desire, just by selecting that option here. Now one other capability here that can be highly useful is the ability to expand the search to include bookmarks and comments by selecting either of these two options. For example, if we search for the whole word conditions and click next, we'll get no match. But if we drop down this arrow and select include bookmarks, we can search again. And this time we see that there's a match in one of the bookmarks. This can be a really useful option. Now notice that when a match is found in the bookmark, Acrobat doesn't automatically navigate the view window to that location as it does when it's matching text within the document. In order to dismiss the Find dialog box, we can click the small X in the upper right corner or just press the Escape key. While the Find command is useful and quick, there's an even more powerful way to search in Acrobat documents. We'll dismiss this panel and we'll take a look at the advanced search command, which is accessible from the edit menu by choosing advanced search or with control shift F on Windows or command shift F on Mac. And in fact, you can get to it right from the basic find simply by clicking this down arrow and then choosing open full Acrobat search. As soon as you open advanced search, the search window appears at the left side of your screen, and the current document may shift to the right to accommodate the new window. You can control that with this Arrange Windows button to allow you to either float the search window or to have it tiled next to the document. Now the first thing we see in the search window is that we can search not only the current document, but all PDF documents in a given folder. Now this can be tremendously helpful if you have a lot of documents and need to locate one quickly based on its content. We can click the drop down list and we can select any one of the folders that are listed here or we can browse for a location. In fact, once we've browsed for locations, Acrobat will store the most recent locations here within the drop down list. In this case, I've got a recent location which is chapter 2 in the working files folder and we'll click that to search all of the files within chapter two. We'll use the same word conditions and notice that we have the same options here for whole words, case sensitive, bookmarks, and comments. 
These are the same options we saw in the original Find dialog box. Once we've set our options, we can click on Search, and Acrobat will build an index and store it in its internal cache. This may take a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on the size of the folder and the number of files. But once the index is built, searches after that will be lightning fast. The results are shown right here in the window. And in this case, we found results in two files. Now here's a great feature. The search results are presented in an indented tree format, and you can click the plus signs to display the results for each document. This can be really handy if you've got lots of documents and lots of search results. Notice also that the search results are shown within context with a few words around the search term to give you a sense of where in the document the result might be. Clicking on one of the results opens the document to the exact location, even if that document wasn't already open. Very convenient. In this case, we've actually opened a tale of two cities, which is located within the working files in the Chapter 2 folder. Notice the options to sort the results by relevance, date modified, file name, and so forth. And if you're having trouble seeing the name of the file, notice that you can check or uncheck this option to collapse the path and see the file name more easily. If we go back to New Search, we can click on More Options here at the bottom, and we can see not only more criteria, but we find options related to multi-word search. We can match the exact phrase, or we can match any or all of the words. Notice that the search defaulted back to the current document, and if we change it to search a folder again, we have even more criteria available. Now we can search even the document's metadata, such as the date created, the author, the title, and keywords within the document. Now to round up our discussion of finding and searching, it's worthwhile to mention the settings associated with searching. So if we go back to Acrobat and choose Edit Preferences, we can navigate down to the Search category. Here you'll see a few settings you might be interested in, including the maximum number of results to return, which will prevent Acrobat from running away with large folders of PDF files. Also here at the bottom, we see the option to enable fast find, which builds the cache that we saw the first time we searched in a folder. We can change the size of the cache to be anything between five megabytes and 100,000 megabytes, which is 100 gigabytes. The default is 100 megabytes, and unless you really need to change it, I would just leave it alone. We can also clear the cache from within this dialog box simply by clicking the button that says Purge Cache Contents. At this point, we can close the Preferences dialog box, and we've completed our review of finding and searching within Adobe Acrobat 11.